Every dollar that you send is going to go into an account that goes directly to the people. If you two don't go take your Hollywood elite behinds to your other Hollywood elite friends and politician buddies that got millions like you do in billions and get all that money together and help out Maui, you are out your mind. Get out of here with that. The nerve. Excuse me. Excuse me, senor. May I speak to you, please? I asked for Mai Tai and they brought me a pina colada and I said no salt, no salt for the margarita but it had salt on it. No big grains señor. of salt on Los Cientos, but it happens again. I won't be leaving a tip because I could... What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Never let a crisis go to waste, they say. And The Rock and Oprah are immediately jumping on the crisis in Maui. The Rock, of course, is from Hawaii. And Oprah has a 20,000-acre estate in Maui that she hired, uh, allegedly, private firefighters to protect while the entire city of Lahaina burned and all the poor people, of course, were displaced. Now, they're apparently asking and grubbing for your and my money, these two billionaires, to go help the people of Maui to go rebuild their private little play place. Now, even on its face, this is absolutely goblin level. You see the initial comment here on Oprah's page posting this on Instagram. Where were you the night the fires started, Oprah? That is the most liked comment. And this is not the only account that is questioning Oprah's motives here. Oprah Winfrey faces accusations of hiring firefighters to protect her massive estate during the Maui wildfire and requesting donations for displaced victims lost their homes. Now, of course, Oprah could give up some of the, I don't know, 20,000 acres that she has on her private property there in Lahaina. 20,000 acres. I mean, that seems like a little much, Oprah. That seems like a little too much. Okay, here's Oprah's Maui house. This is what's publicly available. Oh, look at that. Oh, she has Oprah.com, Oprah's Hawaii home. Look at that. There you go. Here's Oprah's massive estate. Just monstrous. 20,000 acres. Oh, look at her. She's so proud of herself. This multi-billionaire Oprah sitting here uh, with this glossy spread about her wealth in her Maui estate. You can look here further and see more photos of it. Oprah's so excited about it. She's so proud of it. Uh, Oprah's lavish home. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Oprah's lavish homes. Oh, she has multiple. So, of course, Oprah hasn't opened up her doors. She hasn't opened up the, a single acre of her land to any of the people who have been displaced. Look at this. Oh, look, Oprah has plenty of food here. Oh, a sneak peek at Oprah's Hawaii Garden Bounty. Wow, Oprah hasn't given a single piece of food from her farm to any of these people, and it's really starting to get the notice of those inside of the displaced residents. I bring you here, ladies and gentlemen, to this resident, first name Christina. She had a very fascinating thing to say about Oprah and Oprah's intentions with the fires inside of Lahaina. Now, this video went absolutely thermonuclear viral, has been seen by half a million people. Uh, they're saying Oprah and Jeff Bezos, the residents of Lahaina, are blaming them, but Oprah specifically, because Oprah was given more privileges than her pastor. This lady says, my pastor couldn't get in to go comfort the grieving parents who lost children's in, children in this fire, but Oprah could somehow get into the burned down wreckage. Now, why is that? And then she straight up blames Oprah for the fires at the very end of this video. Watch this. This is chilling stuff. It's Christine Borge. I guess you could say I'm a Kapuna. I was living on 1A Street when it happened. I walked away with Ooh. nothing except my dog. Uh, you first, you put us, first we were in Maui prep. They passed out toilet paper because they wouldn't let us use the bathroom. I guess we look like leprosy people to them in our dark skin. Then we went to Baldwin High. Now I'm at Royal Lahaina. We need help because we're being told by people from the mainland who are culturally insensitive, you're telling us to fill out this paperwork so that you can give us the least amount of money. And I want to know when we get to go back to our home in Waianae. Maybe it's gone, but they're 
for reasons that I don't want to discuss, we need to go back there. Are you guys going to just scrape it all away and say disaster zone and America's going to get what they want, their satellite city? Because this was planned years ago. We couldn't even have our pastor come in and ask us if we need prayer in the very beginning, but Oprah could come in. Who is she? Who is she? They said, oh, she knows the governor. We didn't need her in there in Bowen High. Get her out. We don't know. We also don't need people like Kainashiki telling tourists don't come to Maui. Because some of us, thousands of us, work in the hotel industry. They pay our mortgage. They give us our medical. Tourists come. We love you. We have aloha. You have gave us money through your donations. We're not saying don't come. Come. Because you're, you will be helping us, the lower people, the, the grains of sand of Maui is what we are. We're not the ones living up, Waihi, up in Laniapoku. Not one of those houses burned. Puamana is still there. Lahaina Shores is still there. Everything beyond the Civic Center is there. But the homes where we were working, where we were scraping, where we had less than $1,000 a month to pay for our basic needs of gas and food. We busted our ass, and this is what we get. Nobody called us. Our phones didn't work from five in the morning. The fire was not 10 o'clock when I went to work. The fire was still there. There was no water. Tell me if that's that's coincidence. No water, no warning. And everybody talking about the satellite city before the fire. Lahaina going to be the first satellite city. Well, hey, Jeff Bezos, you got what you wanted. Oprah, you got what you wanted. And the guy who owns the night, you got what you wanted. F*** us all over. That's what happened. Okay. We need help in Lahaina. Who's going to come now and ask us, can I pray for you, Andy? Thank you. Can I help you with your paperwork? Because all we got so far was $700. Yeah, okay, so the people are pissed at Oprah. The people are pissed at The Rock. Oprah could solve all all of these people's problems overnight. She's, she's worth $3.5 billion. A billion is 100 million times 10. It's 1,000 million. A, th a stack of a million dollars, 1,000 times. So that's how much money Oprah's worth. Now, Oprah, in a, another post, said that she is so excited that she is going to be giving this post, she says, she's, I'll spare you the actual, like, insult to your intelligence listening to her and her stupid ass hat here. I, who does she think she, like, what's going, what, is she, like, what's going on here with this hat? Could somebody explain that to me? Like, is she trying to insult these people? Why, why is it that Oprah only does videos where she's, like, out in the middle of a giant field? Look at her. Look at this video. This is her talking about how she wants to start the fund. Oprah's out in the middle of this gigantic field, showing how much property she owns, saying that she, like, essentially flexing on how big and how luscious and how unbelievably uh, enormous her real estate portfolio is. There's something really sick about these people. I mean, there's something deeply sick about these people. So Oprah released another video saying that they've raised enough money to give $1,000 a month to the people who've been displaced in Maui. Well, okay, but that doesn't pay rent. That doesn't do any, the, you, their houses were burned down. That doesn't pay rent. And again, Oprah is essentially simply raising money so that the people who serve her by acting as a private fire department for her house while other people, while children were burned alive, allegedly, that's according to this article from the Black Star Atlanta. Uh, this is effectively just saving Oprah's little town. So that's all she's doing. She's not doing anything good for the people. She's saving her estate. She's saving the place where she likes to vacation and asking all of us to donate for her vacation property. Really is repulsive. It really is repulsive and sick disgusting. Same with the rest of these people. Again, Joe Biden went there. The, our leadership is so corrupt and so cretinous and so evil. Joe Biden went there and told a story about how he's actually the victim of the Maui fires, how one time he nearly lost his cat in his Corvette in a small kitchen fire that even the fire department says was under control in 10 minutes. Got it. This according to the Associated Press. Oh, <laughs> conspiracy theorists right again. The local officials blocked people into the town. They closed down the road so no one could leave. 
while the fires were going. Can, has anybody explained that? They didn't sound the sirens. They didn't let the water, the water go to fight the fires. Anybody explain that? Can anybody give us any explanation for that? No one of these people are blaming Oprah. Biden's giving them $700 to the fire victims. Got it. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Oprah's house looks like this. There you go. Here's where Oprah lives. This is this is all of Oprah's land right there. There you go. Curiously, Oprah does live very close to uh, where the fires started. So that's pretty interesting. Why exactly would that be? Who stands to benefit? You need to start asking. You know, you know. At some point, you you just the, the locals are starting to ask questions. Locals are starting to ask questions. Maybe somebody who publishes on her own website on Oprah.com about how big her mansion is. She, an ordinary little gray ranch that Oprah considered tearing down is now transformed into her perfect 21st century farmhouse. Really, how much farm work has Oprah done in her life? Exactly. Could somebody explain that to me? Look at her up on this gigantic hill. Look at how look at look at this view from her porch. And she hired a, allegedly a private fire department. People that could have been used, people that could have helped fight the fires in Lahaina, Oprah had them up at her place. Got it? Got it? You see what's happening here? People do see what's happening here. People are furious about Oprah trying to raise private dollars uh, for her own personal vacation home. My favorite reaction uh, uh, as of yet. Go ahead and watch. Just click where you see below and send a donation. That money is going to go to one of many residents who have been displaced. Ain't no mother way you came on this mother internet and propped your lips up to ask the 99% for money when you are of the 1% that has it all. Then on top of that, you trying to get us to believe that if we click a link that we're going to trust for that money to go directly to anybody, I really feel like y'all be playing in our faces. Not I feel like I know y'all be playing in our faces because ain't no way a billionaire parted her lips to ask me for a thing. And Dwayne, you're from Hawaii. Show the people, put your money where your mouth is. If you care about these people and you care about your people, then I need you to pay them people. I need you to pay them people. Y'all have hundreds of people on y'all team. Y'all have all of these different estates. Y'all got private islands and planes and jets and And you part your lips to get on this internet and ask us if we're going to donate to Maui. And then try to convince us that it's going to go directly in their hands. How many organizations have y'all started or how many donation links have y'all created? And those people have never seen that, that money. They ain't never seen that money. They ain't never touched that money, felt that money, smelt that money. 